Hey friends, Greg here with the Pennywise guys. If you're having issues with the drought like we are here in California, it's been a bad one. It's getting worse. Our well went dry in June and we had to go through some things to try to find water and try to solve the problem. What we had to do is, is find emergency water and uh, we had some five gallon containers and we went down to our church which is a few miles down the road and filled them up daily, multiple times daily to have drinking water, water to flush toilets, water to, to bathe with, with the bottled water. It's not fun but it's doable. We did that for about a week until we had a neighbor that blessed us with hooking up to his house with a water source at his place. We really appreciate that good neighbor that helped us out. And so I have a video showing you a good hose to do that, especially if it's going across a road or a driveway and it gets run over by vehicles. You can hook up to your neighbor's home for a temporary situation. That really worked out for us for about a month. And then his well started going dry. So we couldn't couldn't uh, have him suffer what we're going through, so we disconnected from his place. Currently, he has still got water, but it's getting close for him as well. Our water table used to be around 40 feet continuously. We've been here for, goodness, about 42 years, and, and our water table's always been 40, 45 feet. And during the drought, it dropped a little bit more, a little bit more. And currently, the water level is at 70, 75 feet, so it's below where our pump is set. So I went ahead and pulled a pump to investigate the, the condition of the well to see if I could blow it out. Blowing it out is they pump the sediment out of the cavity by blow, injecting air and it blows out water with all the sediment with the water out of the well and so you have a deeper cavity and then you could possibly drop your pump deeper. We pulled the pump, I went ahead and put a GoPro video camera down the well. It's a very interesting video. You need to watch that one to see the condition of your well. I discovered that there was no liner or casing below about a foot and a half, two feet below the top. That's a problem. When you don't have a casing, they, can no, they cannot blow the well out. The, well, the pump companies won't do it because it, it will have further erosion. It just will be uh, self-defeating because more erosion will happen as you're blowing it out. So I already knew that we had a problem. But when I got down to the bottom of the well, I, I found that the cavity walls were collapsing in, especially the ceiling. When, when the water level goes down below the uh, casing and goes into the cavity and up and down, what happens is the ceiling of the cavity collapses in. And so my pump was actually a little bit buried in the sediment at the bottom of the well. So that's an issue. We thought that we had a deeper well at that point, uh, that we could blow it out and could maybe drop 20, 40 feet more. It wasn't, it wasn't going to happen. And so then I, I realized I need to dr drill a new well. And the drill companies are recommending the two to 300 feet deep. Right now in our area, mine was at 70, I got to go up to 300 feet deep. Problem is, there's a six month or longer waiting list. And so the next idea that we had was to bring in a, a, a large uh, portable tank. So we bought a 3,000 gallon tank. I hooked up a pump to that tank and we bring in potable water every week. It's working very well. We have pretty much everything we want in um, water for our home except the expense. It's $275 a load for a 3,000 gallon delivery. So. We were going through 3,000 gallons. Let me tell you this, the first 3,000 gallons, it took five days and it was gone. And I was like, wow, what happened? I investigated um, our, our toilets and found that two of them were leaking. And one was leaking so bad, I calculated 200 gallons per day loss. The other toilet I found was leaking about 100 gallons per day loss. Totally unaware that it was leaking that bad. And, uh, so I went ahead and did the repairs on the toilets and then it went from um, the five days to about 18 days. So a 3,000 gallon load of water was lasting us about 18 days. So roughly around five, six hundred dollars a month at the worst, but that's still an expense that we don't need to have. But if you don't have any other way to, to get water, you need to do it. 
So we're on a waiting list to get a well drilled and hopefully by next spring, summer, we'll have a wet new well put in and our problem will be solved. But let me tell you also, there are some um, help agencies out there that will give you a free well if you qualify. If a household income, I believe right now, is about in California, uh, below $58,000, $59,000, you can get an absolute free well. Okay, the waiting process is between six months to, to a year, but I'll have a link below to, to contact that, that organization to get help by getting a free well. There's also help to get drinking water, and you don't have to buy that 3,000 gallon tank if your income, again, is, is low enough, and I think that one's a little bit higher income level, so you don't have to have it maybe more than 58,000, but check into it, I'll provide a link. But uh, that is a free tank rental. They'll bring it out to you. They'll set up a pump for free. And they'll bring out you water for free. And also bottled drinking water on top of the potable water. So you'll have bottled five gallon container drinking water. So please watch the videos. Uh, there's interesting, very interesting videos, especially the GoPro. I was amazed just seeing the condition of the well and some really freaky looking things. So <laughs> you'll see what I mean. But. Uh, it's interesting to do that. It was very low cost. And knowing how to pull a pump and how to replace a pump by yourself with a with a help of another person. And a pretty easy setup. I show you all the, the equipment you need and the devices you need to manufacture or make to make it work. And then also the help that you can get. Uh, either a, a, a neighbor can help you or uh, potable water for free and a free well if you qualify. But we didn't qualify for the, the free, but hey, if you do, wonderful. It's a blessing to have that help when you need it. Okay, so I hope this information helps. Please watch the, the other videos and be encouraged. There is a solution to the problem. You guys have a blessed day. I sure hope you enjoyed this video and it was a help to you. I'm a general contractor and a lifelong do-it-yourselfer, and I enjoy finding ways to save time and money and helping others to do the same. Here at the Pennywise Guys, we're a group of contractors, friends, and family that have a wide range of experience in all different areas. And we want to share these videos with you to help you with your projects at home. So please like, subscribe, and share, and join our team. Also hit that notification bell to be notified of weekly videos. I pray that you are blessed, that you know him who is the author of life.